There, that looked about right. Hey there, guys. I, uh, I made some changes. For one, I gave DDD his belt back. Two, I decided to change their hats. So I put the straw on Bandanity because he likes apple juice, so... Yeah. And I put the hammer on DDD because, you know, that's his hammer. And I put the, the fish on Luigi's head because, I don't know, I just thought that was funny. Anyway, let's get back into it. It's the main man, Penguin Vocalist, even though I am nobody's main man and never will be. <laughs> Playing more Rabbits Go Home. I still don't even know why I ever decided to play this game. I mean, I do love the game. Like it quite a lot. Like, a lot a lot, but... No, we're okay. I was just checking the mic, checking to see if you guys could hear the TV, but you can't, so we're good. Now we shall set off to the supermarket to get another UFO. They have a lot of those or something. Same intro and everything, with a guy in the thing. I forgot how bad the people look. <laughs> then again, this did come out in 2009, so... Today's words of wisdom. But Mario Galaxy came out in 2007. But again, they, they were going for a unique style here, so I guess I'm not- I can't be TOO MAD! Hey! That's right, bitch! You better give me your clothes! Is that somebody's ball? Can I take that? No? What kind of douchebag grills on the edge- on the rim of a building? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Ooh, why in the name of God are there crabs up here, or whatever those were? They moved like crabs. <laughs> Erg, Spongebob me boy. I was gonna jump off the building before these rabbit people saved me. But then they robbed me of my chicken that I had on me for some reason. And they started taking dead birds off of the next building by doing sick parkour shopping cart tricks. Okay, I'm sorry. This game can be super weird though. Wait, are we doing water drifting? Was that a mechanic in this game? I forgot. Wow. Okay, they threw the dog. My god, we can do water drifting. <laughs> There's the one guy still in the pool. Am I able to... How do I get a... How do I get a drift in the water? How in the hell do they do that? Don't worry, I'll bring your dogs back. <laughs> yeah, th those, those, they're not coming back. <laughs> like, no, no, they're not. Those dogs are gone. Ah, they got a different guy. And he's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the super boost is so broken if you know how to use it. Not even know how to abuse it, just know how to use it, and you'll... You'll be unstoppable. Like, actually, that guy's still in the water, probably... About to drown, but you know what? That's, that's okay. I actually recorded a couple days ago. As I said, I should have more time during the summer, but... I'm not sure whether or not I'll be able to do... A bunch of episodes this session because like I'm pretty sure I do know that that last episode like the last episode that I posted I feel like my commentary got kind of dull for that one this game can just be kind of hard to commentate sometimes because not much really changes so <laughs> not really the game's fault still a fun game but it does get kind of you know samey if that's the right word Ooh, a, an entire wedding cake. That's only worth one. Watch. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Because I want to get those things up there. Wait. Oh, well, that's how you get that's how you get those birds. Oh, that's how you get one of them anyway. Hang on. There we go.
cool, man. Um, so I do have some things to discuss. I saw the John Wick movie a, new, a while ago. I haven't actually seen the first two, so my dad actually had to catch me up on what was happening. But after seeing it, I kind of want to watch the first two now. That's a man's movie. That is a man's film right there. That movie. That was a... That was a, like, Jesus Christ. That was a manly man film. I still enjoyed it, but, like, goddamn. I, li I just thought the ending was kind of dumb, but at the same time, I really liked it because it was just so cheesy. Also, just by the way, so spoilers, so skip, like, just skip, like, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 seconds ahead in the video or something. I'll put a timestamp. But, um, so, at the end, it was just John Wick nearly unconscious in this guy's lair who saved him. And he got, like, cut up by the, like, the evil organization or whatever. And he just went, you know what, John? I'm feeling kind of pissed off. You feeling pissed, John? And then John Wick just went, yeah. And then it ends there. I just thought that was so dumb, but at the same time, it was funny. <laughs> because it was just so, like, it was just so stereotypically manly. But it was enjoyable at the same time. That's why I want to watch the first two. Also, I'm pretty sure the only reason why John Wick has gone on murderous killing spree is because someone killed his dog. <laughs> Which is very relatable. <laughs> I can totally understand that. <laughs> I'd go on a murderous rampage too if somebody killed my dog. Well, I wouldn't say rampage, but I'd... I wouldn't say rampage, but I'd kill a bunch of trained assassins. <laughs> with just whatever's near me. <laughs> and of course, when he's done murdering entire evil organizations, he just goes back to going, hee hee, puppies! What's in there? <laughs> Dude. John Wick at the people who killed his dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're dog thieves and we're never giving them back. <laughs> I like these dogs. <laughs> and I'm keeping them forever. What's even the point of that? Also, you're going to want to get out of that because we're going to be kidnapping you if you don't. <laughs> we only want the stuff. We don't want you in it. But if you refuse to get out, then you're going to have to come with us. <laughs> That's just how it is. I'm sorry. I sound like a... Someone who's like being negotiated with, but like, you know, kidnapping negotiators. I'm the kidnapper. Yeah, I kidnapped that... <laughs> somebody's daughter and <laughs> beating them up. Jesus Christ. Um. But yeah. Don't look a good movie. <laughs> Another movie I wanted to talk about. I actually haven't seen this one. It's the new Godzilla movie. I want to watch it, but I don't think I... There's nobody else that I really know who really likes monster movies. To what I know. I haven't really asked that many people to be fair, but Still, it's a shame, because I actually really like monster movies, and Godzilla films especially. I'm kind of a... <laughs> you can call me somewhat of a fan! Uh, thanks, another cutscene. I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure I've already seen this one, too. Hell, you can see one of the trap atoms that was going to fly into the card. Is this what DD and Bandana need to do when they're off time? <laughs> yeah, this is what they do when they're off time. They just raid cities of trash. To feed Dreamland. <laughs> yeah, this is what, actually what Dreamland is running off of. This is how DDD provides food for the people. <laughs> okay, I almost fell off of that. I just somehow didn't. I see clothes people yet to be stripped. Y'all must come here. <laughs> hey, you still have your uniform on. Get back here. Luigi! Luigi! Thanks, Luigi. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get every last ounce of trash that I can. Whether or not I'll succeed, I don't, I don't know. Ooh. More dogs. Oh, good god. No, don't go up. I don't want to go up there just yet. Okay, anyway, back to... Back to Godzilla. I heard... I hear that a lot of fans like the movie, but... Also, I heard that, like, the critics are 
upset because like there's <laughs> there's too much emphasis on the god on the monster fighting. And to that, all I can say is like, it's a Godzilla film. What the hell do you expect? <laughs> I've seen so many memes. It's like, <laughs> is the ne is the new Godzilla film good? Only if you like excessive monster fighting. <laughs> and then the guy says, yes, that's what a good Godzilla film is. <laughs> It's like, come on, why would you, why do you want human drama? Nobody wants that shit. <laughs> when I watch a Godzilla film, I want us to watch the monsters beat the hell out of each other and blow the fuck out of everything. I don't want to watch boring side characters going about how, Oh, um, if Godzilla loses this fight, my family will die and my entire bloodline will cease. I don't care about your bloodline. I want Godzilla to beat the shit out of the Ghidorah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know? That's just... Oh no, you haven't stripped. Okay, anyway. That's just how I feel. It's like that scene from Spongebob where that where that guy took his son to get pistachio ice cream. But his son doesn't want pistachio. <laughs> ah, I don't want pistachio! Then why did you ask for it? <laughs> I don't want monsters fighting! Why would you ask for it? Seriously, that's exactly how it felt. You have not been stripped yet. You will be stripped. Come here. Run! <laughs> I also need to go over here to get more trash. Am I even able to? Um, how do I get those? No, really. How, how do I? How? As uh, <laughs> um, did I do this for the other side? Yes, I seem to have, so... Oh, I think I just boost up there. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, there we go. But yeah, that's just... That's my Godzilla rant out of the way, I just think... I've seen clips of the other movies, but I kind of want to watch more, like them in their entirety. I don't care if they're going to be in Japanese, probably, because... The majority of them were only released in Japan. The only ones that were released in America was like the first one and like the one in uh, 2000, I'm pretty sure. There's others, yeah, but like a couple others, but like the ones that the ones that have the other monsters were like only in Japan, I'm pretty sure. So you'd have to watch them with Japanese subtitles, which kind of sucks, but you know what? That's okay. I mean, I've watched my fair share of anime. I'm used to withstanding Japanese <laughs> and with English subs. But if the dub for an anime is good, then I'll watch the dub. Yes, I actually don't mind dubs that much if they're good. Like for example, I've t I've talked about the Danganronpa series a lot, right? I've seen V3. No, no, not V3. That's the game. I've seen the anime Danganronpa 3. Although I am gonna play V3 soon since I finished, I actually finished Kadeka's Uprising. It's a fun game. Actually, oh wait, before I go into Dengaromba again, I actually played some of the online in that game and I didn't expect people to still be playing it, but they were. Like, I was really surprised, but like, I just hopped on free-for-all mode and I found a full lobby. Oh, these, okay, yeah, so, I forgot about that. The green guy is trying to do like a body theme attack, the orange guy has charge you. Orange guys are probably the easiest to deal with because you can just scream at them. No! Come back! Aw, oh, damn it, you were over there. You ass. Okay, anyway. Kanika's Uprising is a fun- Kanika's Uprising is a fun game, by the way. I just wish I- I feel like I would've liked it a lot more if I played it a long time ago, like back when it actually came out. Which was seven years ago, <laughs> but I didn't. Sadly, I guess I just never got around to it. I played Star Fox, but I guess I never got Kanika's Uprising, which is a damn shame. But oh well. Anyway, back to Dengarampa. Um, uh, shit, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, the whole sub versus dub thing. I watched it. I watched it, and I watched the English dub of Dengarampa Three, but. I like some of the voices, like, especially, you know, the ones where the voice actors returned. I feel some of them were kind of bad, like, Yashihiro was different, 
But, I mean, I can still handle him. The one person who got completely butchered in the in the dub was Toko. Like, why couldn't they just... Like, I understand, like, not all the voice actors are going to be available, but, like... They had her for an, they had her for another episode. The same one, and she did great there. Why couldn't they get on the same one? But no, her voice was totally off. And she wasn't the only character like that, but you know what? That's okay. Don't even get me started on the cast of Dangarapa 2. A lot of those characters were completely out of whack for me. <laughs> like, goddamn. I think Fuyuhiko was the worst. Like, he sounded great in the games, but goddamn. It just wasn't the same. Same with Peiko. Uh, okay, I'll stop now. I feel like for the majority of you probably have no idea what I'm even talking about, so I'll stop. Alright, Bick, we're raiding you! <laughs> Come on, at least get out of the UFO! Nope. Oh, we're already there. Well, I hope it didn't miss anything, goddamn. <laughs> Watch that shit. Lost that shit. Probably didn't get it, but... Close. I got close. See, you gotta give me some credit, right? <laughs> Ew. Like, did they really have to make the water yellow? Like, come on. Maybe it's just the sewage water. Not that that's any better, but... <laughs> Oh my god, he's still in there. Oh wait, there was glass. There was glass. Maybe that's why she couldn't get out of it. Nice voice crack, Jake. Okay, anyway. Now, we've got another trash level. I don't see a trash limit, so... Let's see how it looks. Um... Ooh, man. I'm still so happy that school is finally done for me. Like, as you said, what? Wait. Oh my god, I forgot about these. Oh my god. So, I forgot that they have challenges where you have to shake the Wiimote in the right direction. But... The hit registration barely ever works. There. Okay, there. See, now it's working. No. That's not doing it. Okay, at least I got 10. Oh, Jesus. I got a lot more than I thought I did. Never mind. That, that goddamn. All right. Is that seriously it? I mean, I forgot that they had challenges in the Wii modes. Oh, I got extra health! We're a little bit brighter? I mean, wait, am I able to win more? Hang on, let's see, let's see. Sorry for the Wii mode buzzing, I can't help it. I'm pretty sure you can only win... You only have to, you can only, you can only play them one time to win something, so never mind. Hang on. If that's... Hey, well, if that's the stage, then I guess I'll just go. And I'll probably just play another stage or something, because... <laughs> I mean, I don't want to have a... I mean, I know I said I wanted to keep the episode shorter, but I don't want it to be that short. Like, like Jesus. <laughs> you know? And I heard... And, and one guy did comment that, um... You know, I should do them longer. And I was flattered, don't get me wrong, but like... I don't know. Oh, wait! Oh my god, there's people now. Like, you know... Fighters people. Like, pest control people. I'm gonna kill you! There. Give me your shit. Hmm, that's so much trash. Okay. But, um... Yeah, so, I mean, maybe some... Maybe you guys do like it longer. Do you like my episodes to be longer or shorter? Leave it in the comments. That or I could do another straw poll or something, but... Bro, slow your ass down. <laughs> there, see, I got both of them. I think it's by this point that the people are gonna be, you know... 
a little more, a little less willing to comply because they're more aware of, you know, the rabid menace. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't give a shot at me? But you don't know my true power. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna raid everybody of their clothes and then go up here. Because I have to go up there anyway. So yeah, give me a second to do that. <gasps> yeah, that's right, punk. I'm using shrubs too. No, no, it's a piece of trash in there that I want to get. <gasps> there we go. Let us go to the new stuff place. Hmm. We have quite the selection. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun stage. Well, of course, last time I said that I ended up, you know, being being too focused and I wasn't able to talk about anything. This should be a fairly normal sized stage. Same for this. The cow stage ended up going by really quickly, and so did the. This stage should go by go by fast too. So. Should I go out of order? Eh. Hang on, let me decide. Okay guys, I've decided that I'm gonna do the cow stage first because like, Jesus, what kind of cow is this? Because like, I mean, if you're able to, why, why not, right? I mean, obviously I'm still gonna play all the stages and I'll go in order if I can, but like, this shouldn't be as long, so yeah, you know. Because the cow stage went by super fast last time, so... Do we already have the cow? Oh, no. Wait, is it... Wait, is this a slaughterhouse? Oh, no. Don't worry, cow, I'll save you. I'll leave you to, you know, just to starve to death in a trash heap that we have. Doesn't sound much better. I mean... Oh, wait, there's soda here. Probably isn't very good soda, but... Have you guys ever heard of a gate of a Kickstarter project called Kingdoms of the Dump? It's a game. It's like an RPG game that has like a really big trash theme. I actually really it seems really promising. Like I like it. It has like an open world type. There's platforming elements in it. Well, not really platforming, but like, you know, you can jump in the overworld map. That well, you can jump. It has 16-bit graphics, similar to, like, Final Fantasy, I want to say. Or at least, what is that blue guy? Oh, shit, I forgot about that! No! Uh, no! No, no, no! I forgot about the blue guy. I'm your homie. You are not my homie. Motherfucker, I'm going to steal your gun. Oh, I can. Oh, well. I forgot what the blue guys, they were bad. I, there was other enemy types too now. Um, but yeah, Kingdoms of the Dump. I think you guys should check it out. There's been a lot of like Instagram ads on it. And since Instagram is my meme source, I've, I ended up coming across it a lot. But it seems really promising to have unique character designs. Just a, with a fun take on like the areas being named after trash and stuff. You should, we should look at it. It's a funny idea and a fun looking game. <laughs> I can imagine like once it actually comes out, people are gonna call, someone might call it trash and then I'll be like, yeah, it is trash. It's my trash. <laughs> Hell, maybe the developers will call it trash. <laughs> Theming your game around garbage makes you immune to people calling it trash. That's probably why I haven't heard anybody complain about this game, because you can't call it trash. <laughs> Maybe Kingdoms of the Dump took notes from this game. <laughs> not by piling trash, but by, you know, not being able to be called trash. Oh god. Okay, they just shake, we're good. No idea how the hell we were able to aim ourselves to do that, but... I mean, yeah, we did. 
Don't worry, Cal Bundy, I'm gonna save you. Whatever you, whatever your definition of save means. Wait. There's something down there. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. Uh, I just need to get ah. I'm not unsuspecting guy. Do you mean lose your phone? Haha, <laughs> because I probably took it because it was probably in your pant pocket and I stole your pants. What am I saying? You know, it would help because apparently no matter, no matter the object, it's always going to be worth one foot. Even a giant ass wedding cake is worth one foot apparently. So yeah, um, whatever... So a paint can is just as tall as a suitcase. And um, which is also just as tall as some guy's shirt. Or like abroad. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely all gonna be a foot long. And it's certainly not taking like, you know, how compressible an item is into account. For example, a shirt isn't gonna stand up that easily. <laughs> a suitcase would. A bird probably won't. <laughs> those birds were just standing there. They must have like frozen or something. You just angle it with a nunchuck and shake. There, see? Did Ben then did these arms just stretch? It looked like they stretched. No, I'll call, I'll call him the bandana rabbit, if I remember to, and the DDD rabbit. <laughs> King rabbit. <laughs> okay, anyway. Wait. Oh, we just push it. Oh god, it's another blue guy. Oh man, Luigi can't hurt them. Damn. Oh, this is not new. I thought this was gonna be like a time challenge again, but no, it's um taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So it's just a normal size stage. Okay, well, never mind. Oh well, I guess it'll be a bit a little bit little bit on the longer side then. But hey, that one guy's gonna be happy. So I mean, I guess it's not. Too, I guess it's. So I guess it's a win, <laughs> right? Shout out to that one guy. I forget his exact name, but I think it was like it's just like a, like a bunch of letters and stuff. All I know is that he made a comment on my first ever episode of this LP. So yeah, shout outs to you, my guy. Shout outs to anybody else also watching because all of my fans, because I have so few, I feel like I can like them individually. So yeah, shout outs to each and every individual one of you. To all 30 of you at the moment. Shout out to the 30 subs. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you guys like my shit! Because it probably is pretty, pretty shit, so. How do you do that? There goes all the trash I've collected! Unless I can get it all back. No! <laughs> I mean, I don't think I was gonna get perfect on the stage anyway, so it's okay. Like, I feel like I missed something. Oh, no, you just had to go back. I thought you had to launch yourself to the other fan somehow, but I. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, were you like some kind of <laughs> some kind of like naval base or something? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're peacekeepers. We're here to stop World War Three from breaking out. Actually, no, we are World War Three. <laughs> the war against the rabbits. <laughs> I mean, I didn't miss that much, Shredder. I'm sure I'll still be able to get the four gifts. <laughs> okay. That's why they should not be closer together because I can just do that. And just one shot them. The super boost, man. Dear God. That thing is awesome. I also really wish I didn't die there, but oh well. Oh! Is this, oh, it just sends me over here. Oh, well, good. I wanted to be here. That's. Alright. Wait. No. No! 
I died again! Why the hell do I keep dying in this stage? God damn it. Maybe I just shouldn't have gone down that way. I mean... I don't think I missed out on that much stuff you did. Oh, yes I did. Oh. Not that much, though. Certainly not going to be getting a perfect run on this stage, though. If there's any stage where I can get a perfect run, it'd be the t it, it it'll be like the you know the tubing stage, like you know what. Uh, actually, I'll yeah I'll save that for next video. Actually, I've already used up a lot of discussion points in this episode anyway, so I mean that's good for uh, that's good kind of. I think my commentary for this episode was good, but that means next episode won't be good. <laughs> that's just kind of how it goes. If one if one episode has good commentary, the next episode I'm going to struggle, so... <sighs> there we go. No, you, you nude. We're good. You wait! Come here! Santa! Santa! Oh! Poor guy. Okay, yeah, I'm already learning out of things to say. I do like the ceiling fan gimmick, though. How do I get up there? There's a lot of trash there, and I would hate to miss out. Ah! This is really dangerous! But you could have so much trash accumulated! Screw it, I'll go back for those treasure pieces. I'm sure I'll be able to. Yeah, see? Here, just watch. Watch, I'll be fine. Okay, well, I thought that started a timer, but... No, we're okay. So the cow is gonna be at the very end of the stage, I guess. Okay. Yeah, see, we have to go back this way anyway, so... Not going that way! Sorry, but I've seen a lot of treasure over here. See, I don't even gotta redo it. I can just go back. Take me, ceiling fan! You know, we'd probably get, like, the shit batted out of us. I doubt there's any way we'd actually be able to grab onto that with a shopping cart full of 163 feet of stuff, but you know what, whatever. You can already hear them behind it. Alright, cow, let's go. Oh, that's a unique angle. Whoosh! <laughs> Poor bastard. So I guess it's in a... I don't know what the place is. And let's see how much I missed. Come on. There. See, at least I got that much worse. I bet if I didn't die... I might have had a real shot of getting a thousand. But... That's what will happen. Um, some time from now. <laughs> well, there you go. Nice beefy episode for you guys. After, I feel like last episode was a little short, so. Good. Alright. I guess this time I shall end it off here. Next time, I shall, you know, probably do these two stages. Ooh. That one, too. That looks like Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, goodbye, guys.